Hi everyone, it's Darla from Crafty Yarn Owl. Do you have scrap yarn? How about we make a beautiful blanket? It's actually a scrap gan lap gan. Let's do it. Now this is a work in progress. But this is what I have so far. I want to share this stitch with you because it is a easy, an easy stitch and it's somewhat of a yarn eater. So I was thinking, well, why not use scrap yarn and eat it up? <laughs> so this is what I have so far. This is mainly four weight yarn. Um, there was, I think, a three weight that I ended up putting in here as well. I believe this was a three weight. I just stuck with the same hook size, which is a five millimeter hook. Now my idea was to grab one of the balls and just crochet until I'm finished the ball and then tie the next ball on and just keep crocheting till that ball is complete. So I'm just gonna grab the next color and just use the balls until they're gone. Okay, and I show you in the video how I tie the balls together. So you won't have a whole bunch of ends because they're gonna get tied wherever in the blanket. Yeah, so you're gonna have your starting end and your finishing end to sew in and that'll be it. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope you, uh, you know, use up some of that yarn. I mean, you could donate these to um, care homes, hospitals, you know, phone them, see if they'll accept them. Um, it, these can be probably donated to animal shelters. Just give them a call and see if they'll take them. Yeah, so let's do this. There are different sizes of lap gans. The one I'm going to be working on is going to be 35 inches by 40 inches, which is 89 centimeters by 102 centimeters. I'm going to be making a chain that's in multiples of two, and then we'll be adding another two at the end. I've made a chain of 124. Now I'm gonna add two extras. Okay, so let's do row one. We're going to skip the first chain here. We're gonna go into the next one with a single crochet. We're gonna make a single crochet into every chain across this chain right to the very end. At the end of the row we will chain three. This counts as a stitch. Turn your work. We're going to skip a stitch. We're going to go into the next one with two double crochets. Okay, and that's one and two. We're going to skip the next stitch and go to the one following it with two double crochets. And this is our repeat for this row. Skip the next stitch, go in the next one with two double crochets. I'll see you at the end of this row. At the end of this second row, we're going to have three, three stitches left. Skip the next one. Go into the next one with your two double crochets. Okay. 
and then go into that very end one with a double crochet. Now we'll chain one and turn our work. We're going to be putting single crochets across this row, but we're not going to put one in that first stitch. We're going to start with the second stitch. So go in the second one with a single crochet and then in every stitch afterward for this entire row you will put a single crochet in each stitch. Now we're at the end of that single crochet row and we have this last stitch here. So we're going to put a single crochet into the top of that stitch and your row is completed. Now the next two rows are going to be your repeat rows. Alright, so we're going to chain two, turn our work around, and now see where we have these two double crochets here? We're going to go right into the center with two double crochets. Okay, just go right into that. one double crochet and then put another double crochet in that same space. Then we're going to go to the next two double crochets, go right into that space right in there and put two double crochets. And that's what we're going to do all the way across this row. And this will be the first row of the two row repeat. Okay, go to the next two double crochets right in that space put two double crochets and continue on and I'll meet you at the end of this row now we're almost at the end of that first row of the two row repeat we have another stitch to go in between these two double crochets here so we'll put two double crochets in there. Okay, and now we have this, this end one where we're going to put a stitch into as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a half double crochet. I like to grab a couple of the strands. There we go. So half double crochet is how we're going to end these rows now of these two double crochets. Okay, then we're going to chain one, turn our work because this row, next row, is going to be single crochets. So all we need to do is a chain one there. Okay, now you're not going to go in this first stitch. You're going to go into the next one with a single crochet. And we're going to put a single crochet in all the rest of the stitches in this row, which is the second row of the two row repeat. Okay, single crochet in every stitch for the rest of this row. We'll see you at the end of the row. Before completing this row, I came to the end of my, my scrap ball. So I've chosen another color pretty much at random. I'm just going to show you how I hook them together or knot them together. I'm going to put my next ball end like that. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to tie it around here. Pull it nice and tight. I'm going to grab the end of the second ball. I'm going to wrap it around that first ball strand and make a knot. And I'm going to grab each end of the yarn. I'm going to pull till the knots meet. And then I'll cut off the excess tails.
close to the knot, but not too, too close. I just, I don't trust it when I go too, too close. All right, and then we're just going to continue crocheting. So just continue with your, whatever row you happen to be working on. And this happened to be this single crochet row, the second row of the two row repeats. All right, we're into our next color. And I'm just working each ball until I've completed the ball. And then I go to the, whatever the next color is that I choose or pick out at random from the bag. I'll see you at the end of this row. Now I'm at the end, close to the end of the second row of the two will repeat. And now I'm going to put a single crochet on the top of that last double crochet. And then we have that end that counts as a stitch. Put a single crochet in the top of that. And then we're going to go on to make our double crochet row. So we're going to chain two at the beginning of it. Just getting you started on this row. And here's our double, two double crochets. We're gonna go right in that, the middle of it. That's two double crochets. There's our next two. Go right in the middle of it with two double crochets. There's the next one, two double crochets right here. Go in the middle of it with two double crochets. All right, so just continue on doing that till you've used up all your scrap yarn or this could be an ongoing project where you just, you know, felt you've already used up all your scrap yarn. Next time you have a ball, you can add it. Yeah, until your Afghan is uh, or sorry, your lapgan, scrapgan, lapgan, lapgan is complete. Oh, I'm not even going to edit that out. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone.